Rick, we got to show this to you right now. It is the video clip that you just have to see. It was posted to YouTube and it appears to show the O'Hare station where two men are simply talking and that's just moments before a blue line train derails and then bam, the train comes barreling up the escalator. Just really dramatic footage there. CBS 2 Susanna Song live at the still closed station and she has more on that video and the lawsuits after the crash. Susanna. Hey, good morning, Roseanne and Vince. The train still sits here at the O'Hare Blue Line station. You might be able to hear some background noise. That's from welding. Workers are here cutting the front car into pieces. They will be removing this in the next few days. Now pay attention to where I'm standing. In this dramatic video, you'll see, take a look, that two men appear to be standing where I'm standing here, my live shot. They're talking when you see a train approach in the background. The headlights appear behind them and suddenly the crash. The two people standing there are startled. They run to safety. This YouTube video was posted last night. CTA had no comment and we have yet to hear back from NTSB. Yesterday, officials said they were reviewing video from at least 41 security cameras. Meanwhile, three women on that train have filed lawsuits against the CTA. They were on their way to their respective jobs at the airport. Their attorneys claim they are in a lot of pain, suffering knee and leg injuries. We filed the lawsuit um, to ensure that all evidence is protected and preserved so that a full and complete investigation could be done as to why this happened um, at O'Hare. More than 30 people were injured when the eight-car train derailed early Monday morning. NTSB officials interviewed the female operator of the train yesterday afternoon. She admitted earlier this week that she was asleep at the controls at the time of the crash. Reporting live from O'Hare International Airport, Susanna Song, CBS 2 News. Vince Roseanne. Thank you, Susanna.